for my beef and oyster sauce, I need a good piece of beef fillet or sirloin steak. And I just want to get the fat off. And then, just to help tenderise the meat, this is all you do. You could use a Chinese cleaver or you could use a rolling pin. And then all I need is just to slice the beef into nice sort of thin bite-sized pieces into a bowl and season with light soy sauce. Light soy sauce is my first store covered ingredient and in Chinese cooking we use it like you do salt. Dark soy sauce is really used for colour. So I just need a teaspoon of this. Now if you're watching your sodium intake, there's a variety of low sodium light soy sauce that you can find. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon and a half of a good oyster sauce. Traditionally, oyster sauce is made from boiling oysters, so it's really concentrated and then it's evaporated and really thick. And then it's cooked down with a bit of soy sauce and some spices. And if you can get a good quality oyster sauce, try and find one without any flavour enhancers or MSG in it. Now I've got here a vegetarian oyster sauce and this one's made from mushrooms. Now a lot of Chinese takeaways would use oyster sauce like a cooking sauce, but it's too much, it's too heavy. I prefer to use it rather as a condiment, so about a tablespoon or two is enough in any dish. Then add a pinch each of salt, ground black pepper and sugar. I'm using caster sugar and leave that to marinade while you prepare some spinach to serve the beef on. In with about a tablespoon or two of groundnut oil. And this is my second store covered ingredient. Now for Chinese cooking, I love to use a flavorless oil, a neutral base if you like, to create all the different layers of flavors. Olive oil is just too strong. When the oil's smoking, add some chopped garlic and chili garlic, ginger, chilies, holy trinity of Chinese cooking. Now to stop the garlic and chili from burning, just give that a good toss. And then in with some washed spinach leaves. And all we want to do is just cook this for a few seconds, just to slightly wilt down the spinach. And give that a good mix. Just out onto the plate. Leave this to one side. Now to cook the marinated beef. Wok on, oil in. Wok is ready, it's smoking. In with the beef. Now, when you put the beef in, just make sure it has time to just settle a little bit before you start to stir. And look at that. It's a gorgeous meat turning brown. I can smell the smoky, savoury sweetness of the oyster sauce. Now, this is not going to take very long at all. While the beef starts to turn brown, I'm just going to add a splash of Shaoxing rice wine. This is my third store cupboard ingredient. And you can use any other cooking wine, but I love Shaoxing from the Shaoxing region in China. This gives this gorgeous, bittersweet edge to any dish. And it just takes the rawness of meat or, or fish and any odours of meat and fish. And if you can't get Shaoxing rice wine, then I would use dry sherry. That's a great alternative. Before the beef comes out, I'm going to add a pinch or two of dried chilli flakes. And these give a gorgeous kick. Now, I love chilies in all their forms, fresh, dried, you name it. It's my fourth special store covered ingredient. So that's the beef done. Out on top of the spinach, like so. Finally, a topping of tangy mushrooms. Into the wok with some oil and add about 200 grams of oyster mushrooms. They'll soak up all the juices left from the beef. And you can add just a tiny bit of water just to help them cook and just create a bit of steam. Now, my fifth store covered ingredient is Qingjiang black rice vinegar. And it comes from the Qingjiang region. Now, it gives dishes a wonderfully smoky, woody, tangy edge. And so just a splash of this. Now, if you can't get Qingjiang black rice vinegar, then I would suggest you could use a good balsamic vinegar. That would work just as well. OK, so mushrooms out and onto the beef, like that. So there's my version of beef in oyster sauce, essentially three stir fries in one dish. I'm loving that. 
Now this dish is a good example of an important philosophy used in all traditional Chinese cooking. It's called balancing yin and yang. In Chinese philosophy, there are